Hey, it's Andy here with the Fence Post Vinyl Channel, and I'm joined by Millie today. Hi, Millie. Cute little girl. Today, I'm going to share my new record room. I'm so excited about this. It has been so long in the making. I finally got this nice little record cabinet, entertainment cabinet behind me that my turntable sits on. It is just so nice. So let's take a look at everything I've done to this room. Then we're going to start over there in that corner, which is essentially my nice little seating area. I'm not 100% sure I love this yet. The dark couch against the dark curtains just seems a little bit over the top. I'm, I'm not quite loving it. Next is the little kitty area. So I've got a nice little cat tree and cat post and, and stuff like that where the cats can play. <laughs> And then we have my new record shelf. It is just oh, a breath of fresh air. Inside of it, some record storage supplies like protective sleeves, protective inner sleeves, outer sleeves, etc. And down below, that's where I'm gonna put all my 10 inches. Above the little record cabinet, I have these two great little shelves that I picked up on Etsy. That's basically my cue of what I'm listening to next. And of course, I've got my lovely Optage Audio now playing display. I love that thing. So if you're curious about some of the stuff I have here in my record room. Down in the description, I'll have links off to where you might be able to get some of the stuff for yourself. Now for my turntable. It is a U-Turn Audio Orbit Custom, and U-Turn offers everything from kind of the basic, which is kind of your entry level turntable, to the high-end theory, which is a much newer version of the U-Turn Audio. Back when I purchased this one in 2017, they didn't really have theory, and I didn't really have the budget to drop $999 on a turntable minus a preamp. So with this one, I ended up opting for the custom, which essentially allowed me to custom build the turntable to my specifications, which I did. For the table itself, I opted for the walnut natural wood finish. And as I kind of hinted, I did add a preamp to it. Additional upgrades and add-ons have included the following. I upgraded the stylus, and so that has gone to the Ortophone Red. I added a Q. I opted for the clear platter, which I just think looks great, especially with the walnut table itself. And I think that's pretty much it. I ended up buying a clear slip mat as well. It works really well with clear wax, with uh, translucent and transparent wax. I love how the turntable looks. It fits my whole like mid-century-ish aesthetic. And now for the speakers, I have two Edifer speakers. They are kind of the natural walnut-like look as well, and they have really suited me decently. The only thing I could say I could potentially add is maybe a subwoofer or some like low-end speaker that uh, could bring out a little bit more of the bass. You've probably seen it in all of my other videos and behind me right now, my record shelf itself. Ikea Calyx, greatest record shelves around. 
so good. This is a 5x5. Five five. It has a ton of records on it. I basically maxed everything out, so I need to get more, but my wife doesn't want me to have me anymore, so... Next is my desk where I'm sitting right now, and this is where I do my day-to-day -day stuff. This is where I record everything, this is where I do my editing, all of that right here on this desk. have a couple posters and a few little shelves. Now those shelves are from Mau Pets, M-A-U, and they are nice little shelves that the kitties can go and perch on and hang out on so they're not bugging me all day. I also have, like I said, a couple posters. I've got my Kevin Morby and the photographs, the USA 2022 poster that I got when he came through Dallas. And I have the Free Your Radio Yaris and Urban Outfitters poster from way back early in my career when I was working on that project. I do have a few other Free Your Radio posters that I hope to get framed here in the coming months. And those might end up down in my second record room uh, where I'm going to have my other turntable if you saw my recent video about the stack stone savage the one player I've got that downstairs in my giant walk-in closet which is going to basically be a second record room for me you can have memorabilia additional posters that kind of stuff this area is going to be super minimal it's pretty much designed out how it's going to stay i might swap out posters from time to time um, and i may change the layout of the furniture a little bit but other than that this is this is it i absolutely love it what do you think i'd love to know coming soon if you're new to collecting vinyl i'm going to have five things that you should do as a new collector and also another one on how i store and protect my vinyl records in the meantime, next, why not check out five reasons you should start a vinyl record collection and five more reasons you might want to start a record collection. These are all things that I absolutely love about vinyl and about collecting and having my own nice little library here in my house. I'm Andy. This is the Fence Post Vinyl Channel. I'll see you in the next video.